cell over the past, what, 72 hours, something like that. I don't know how many pounds of snacks eaten, gallons of coffee consumed, uh, you know, hours burned, uh, gigabits load through the network, etc. but I'm sure the stats are astounding. Uh, so record numbers, uh, I'm sure, on all of those stats, certainly record numbers uh, in terms of people and participation. And it's interesting, I mean, I, I go uh, throughout the country and throughout the world evangelizing Eugene, evangelizing Oregon entrepreneurship, and I always get the question, why Eugene? Uh, and, you know, the answer is actually really straightforward, just look around, this is why. So give yourselves a, a round of applause. this weekend, 34 teams, 11 challenges, uh, but for a year, 16 people have been meeting and planning and preparing. Those 16 people are the Hack for a Cause Steering Committee. Uh, steering Committee members, please stand up. And rest of your There's also somebody very special uh, who, uh, whose servant leadership, uh, dedication, loyalty, uh, and just high level of organization and enthusiasm uh, it really brought this together. Uh, her name is Allison Weatherly. <laughs> or behind the scenes, and I'll tell you, the tireless effort and dedication that you see, it's just doubled down uh, behind the scenes late nights, early mornings, long weekends, all uh, for a cause and all for, for good reason. So thank you. What an, what an amazing, amazing weekend. I know everybody must be exhausted. I'm exhausted just watching you. <laughs> Thank you for your hospitality and bringing us here. I know the country is going to be looking to Eugene for the type of personality, for the type of innovation, and for the type of, of thoughtfulness toward developing their community in terms of how they're going to model what they do in their own community. Eugene Springfield are really going to be at the forefront of the evolution of the development we see across the country. So thank you very much for having me here. It's been an amazing time. And one thing I would like to ask for my own social media, I can't get the whole room, but if I can get you guys to put your hands up so I can take one selfie. Everybody? All right. All right, thank you. All right, it is my pleasure to introduce David Heason from Emerald Compassion Action Network. Nerves of a feather. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> As a little tiny new nonprofit, I feel like we have won the jackpot by having this team do our project. And they deserve uh, endless rounds of applause. I'm, and I'm so grateful to the TAO for organizing this event. Last year we submitted a proposal that was too vague, and it was written by me, and I'm just sort of this visionary guy. But this year we had other people helping us write the proposal so it was specific and understandable, and that's what really worked. And I want to thank Mark and Allison for encouraging me to come back. And so I'm, I'm just super pumped. 